Hello everyone, welcome to a GDevelop Path tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to limit a player's bullet in GDevelop 5. So this is actually a continuation of the last tutorial. In case you haven't seen that, um, the link is in the description below. So first of all, open your GDevelop 5. Um, this is exactly where I stopped in my last tutorial. So I will just um continue from there. So first of all, we need to add in some objects. Click to add an object, sprite. You got an animation. Let's add a bullet bar. Oh, sorry. A bullet bar. Apply. Let's put that into the scene. Um. Layer GUI. And let's click to add an, an object. Sprite. Click to add animation. We need to add the frame here. See, so um, bullet ball frame apply and put that into your scene. And let's place that here. So we don't need to place this on top of this because we will let our events create that for us. So just set the layer to GUI. Now that's all we need to do for our scene here. So let's go to our events. Well, let's add a group. To add a group, and uh, let's name that limit. Okay, I'll just put that out because I wanted to. Okay, now here, let's add a subcondition. Add a condition. Beginning of the scene. So at the beginning of the scene, let's create a scene variable. Scene variable. Value of scene variable. Player bullet modification sign is set to a value of 100 okay let's add another condition now this um let's add a, a, an action so this will actually place our bullet bar in our bullet bar frame so new scene events add action frame position Position um position of an object bullet bar modification sign set to position bullet bar frame not x that's on the x axis that's why we're using an x open and close the brackets modification sign set to since this is the y position so um bullet bar frame bullet bar frame dot y and open and close the brackets okay so now this should place um the bullet bar uh, bullet bar in a bullet bar frame so let's add, add an empty event now as you can see before we had a condition in the last tutorial i used t to um shoot a bullet so we will use that same t because when t key is pressed it creates, creates a bullet. So here, add condition, key pressed, T. So when T key is pressed, sorry, key pressed, when um, T key is pressed, add a condition, scene variable, we need it to subtract from the scene variable, player, bullet. Modification sign subtract value so it takes out 10 from the bullet when T key is pressed. So let's add a condition trigger ones while true. Okay, and add an empty event. Let's add an action skill skill um, on x axis bullet bar. Okay, bullet bar modification sign set to a value of um variable. Open a bracket. Now this we will fill our scene variable, so it will scale it according to the scene variable. So our scene variable player bullet. Close your brackets. Space slash over hundred. 
so this scales it over 100 now let's run that so here as you can see if we press T on our keyboard it subtracts this like this now so um let's add a refill close that up new scene um i'll just create a random object sprite i don't have something now so i'll just edit p scale and okay i will be using something like this okay um, I think this matches our bullet, so this will be good. So I'll just fill that in and save. So I'll rename that refill. If you have something else you want, you can just click to add an animation. So apply, I'll put it into my scene. We don't need to set this as a GUI. So this is just um to refill the bullet. So that's why I set that. So new scene events. Now let's add an empty event here. Add an empty event. Add a condition collision collision so um player that's why character is in collision we refill we need to add the scene variable add a condition scene variable value of scene variable um player bullets modification sign add oh sorry add a value of 10 so when it's in collision it adds um 10 so you can choose to um add another action that that deletes the refill when it's in collision with it so when it's in collision it deletes it why adding 10 to the scene variable in case you don't want your player to um keep on um getting bullets from it so you seen both for this tutorial i don't want to do that yet because i want to show you something so here now I'll just run that. So here we press T on our keyboard. Here it keeps on going. And if we're in collision with this, oh sorry, close that up. Add condition. Trigger once while true. And run that again. So here, so when T key is pressed, it keeps on shooting. If we're in collision with this, it will feel it adds 10 to it. So here now, if we keep on pressing T like this, as you can see, it surpasses um zero and keeps on going. Here like this, so it subtracts 10 from the bullet bar, but it doesn't stop when it reaches zero. It keeps on subtracting, taking it to minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. And when we're in collision with a refill, it adds um it adds ten. So it adds ten, therefore the bullet bar was set um so if the bullet bar is set to minus thirty and when collision with a refill, it will take it to minus twenty and now as you can see it's trying to bring it back up. So we need to set a limit to that. So close that up. So here. Add a condition, scene variable, value of scene variable, player bullets, player bullets, sign of test, um, okay, I'm coming, value to compare, okay, player bullets, sign of test is greater than a value of zero, if it's greater than zero, that's when it actually subtracts 10. So add a condition, okay, run that again. Here now. So we shoot and it stops at 10. So when we're in collision with this, you can see it adds 10 and it doesn't actually pass there. So um, we have to do the same thing for the refill because actually when it reaches 100, it keeps on adding here, as you can see. So close up we need to also set a limit to it so add a condition scene variable value of scene variable player bullet sign of test is less than a hundred okay it's less than a hundred so we added that here so we only add 10 when it's less than a hundred so 
Now we need to um connect this all limits to our player bullet so that when it's less than zero, our player does not shoot anymore. So here. Now on the right side, T key is pressed and here add a condition scene variable value of scene variable player bullets sign of test is um greater than let's compare zero so when it is greater than zero so when it is greater than zero it creates the object we need to just copy that and paste it below here so it does the same thing and run that so as you can see um tk is pressed it keeps on shooting and when it reaches zero it stops shooting the bullet but if we collision with this again um it shoots bullets once like this so um that's it it's really simple thank you